What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. We're looking at applicants for our social media coordinator position here at Stealthy Wood. We've noticed that some of our applicants aren't as good of a fit as we thought. So to help our interviewers and ensure that they're meeting only the best candidates, I use Odoo's customizable interview forms to pare down the applicant pool. All interview forms are created with the Surveys app, so make sure you have that installed in your database. Now, follow along as I update a test and send it off to see who has the right stuff to join our discerning marketing team. First, what do I mean when I say interview form? It's the term that Odoo uses to describe the exam or questionnaire that we can send to applicants. It's easy to think of them as tests. A good example is if we're hiring a computer programmer trained in Python, we could then create a test specifically for evaluating Python code snippets. Today though, we're gonna send a test to see how well our candidates understand social media marketing. So here we are starting on our recruitment dashboard. We also have a published job position card here for our social media coordinator. And I wanna show you a written interview that I created for this. And we're gonna start by clicking the three dots of the social media coordinator card followed by configuration at the bottom. So here in the recruitment tab, on the right column, we have our interview form field, and it's currently set to social media coordinator interview. I need to add a few questions to this, so we're gonna click the internal link icon at the end of the field, which will take us to this interview form. First, I'll show you how this is configured. We're gonna select recruitment here out of all the radio buttons, and essentially this just limits that this survey is only for recruitment. I can still see this survey and all the results in the surveys app. This just guarantees it can't be used in other applications. And of course, I named this interview form social media coordinator interview. And we also have Abigail Peterson as the responsible user. And that's because she's the head of our recruitment office. So I set up two sections here. We have our multiple choice questions as well as our long form questions. Now it's time to add that missing question. At the bottom here, I'm just gonna click add a question and then I'm presented with this blank form for create sections and questions. The candidates don't seem to know how to handle internet trolls or negative comments in general. So let's add a question about that. I'm just gonna type out, how do you handle trolls? Next, we have our question type field, and this defines how the question looks and how the applicant will answer it. For the question type, I'm going to select multiple lines text box. And this is so they can type out an answer. This box here on the right provides a visual example of how the question format looks to the user. If I change it, the format changes as well. So watch, right now it's currently set to multiple lines text box. If I select scale, it changes or if I click on matrix, it changes as well. But I'm just gonna go back to multiple lines text box here. Now, if I wanna add some information here in the description, I can go ahead and do so, but I think the question speaks for itself. So this is also a recruitment tutorial and not a surveys tutorial. So that's all I'm gonna show you for now, but be sure to check out those for more details on how to configure these in greater detail. Once I'm done with it, I can just click save and close. This looks great, so now I'm just gonna scroll back up and go to the Options tab here. This shows how I formatted this overall interview form. Under Pagination here, I have this selected as one page with all questions. So all the questions appear on a single page. And because I wanted all the questions asked and not just a few, I selected all questions here in the Question Selection section. Now for access mode here on the right, this is currently set to invited people only since this is for applicants that I'm sending the interview to. Down here in the scoring and timing section, I currently have this set to a limit of 15 minutes since I don't want applicants using Google or ChatGPT to answer anything. Last, we have our scoring field here at the bottom and this is selected to no scoring because it's not a graded test, but just something for us recruiters to look at. All right, now I'll go back to the job position card via the breadcrumbs here at the top. And now that we've updated our customized survey, let's send it to an applicant. Let's check out all of our applicants just by clicking on the job applications, smart button here at the top. And let's take a closer look at Terry Talker here in the new stage. On our applicant form, we're just gonna click the send interview button at the top to start drafting an email from a template. For email, 
is from her application, already populates at the top, in the recipients field, and we also have our subject line pre-populated as well, thanks to Odoo's default email templates. Now, when they receive this email and then they click the start the written interview button, they'll just be taken to the interview form that we just updated. All right, so now I'm just gonna click send, and off it goes. And if we scroll down to the chatter, we can see that we just sent it. Okay, it's been a couple days and Terry has finished the interview, so it's time to see her questions. I would just scroll back up and click consult interview, the smart button at the top. And from there, that opens up another tab and I can see a summary of how she did. Here in the new tab, I can click this print button if I prefer to print these out, maybe to share with colleagues in a meeting discussing this candidate. But we also can scroll down and take a look at the answers that Terry submitted. And wow, it looks like she got everything right. They gave pretty good answers and good long form questions here as well. So after the team reviews these answers in greater detail, we can decide if we wanna move them forward to the first interview stage and proceed with the interview process. This looks promising and I really hope they get the job. And that's all for today's recruitment tutorial. Learn how to make an interview survey and help weed out candidates. So this helps so you only spend time with interviewing applicants with the skills and knowledge that you need. Odoo's always helping us save time and I hope it helps you save some time too. So till the next video, happy recruiting.